guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 5 of Tokyo Mimi News. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> yeah, but she ain't joy. <laughs> You can see it's funny to see him at work because you know, yeah, for the last couple of episodes she ain't work, but because she is so upset about Zakaro, like, mm. <laughs> no, even though she is, but usually now she's like sad. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh, my baby. Oh. Oh, baby. <laughs> Yeah, but you still care about her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know, eventually he's gonna have a secret you too, and it's like, oh god, it's too much. Like that last part, oh, you just felt that like deep in the middle of your soul, like, oh my god. Oh.
Big. He's just here to cheer you up, baby. Is it the Oh my god It would be the sprinkler system. Oh hmm. Only pudding. <laughs> Girl, when the heck you had a brother? I don't remember. Y'all remember that? I, I don't remember that. You pretty. <laughs> Mint. Oh my god, man! <laughs> no. Right? Because she a rich girl. Why would a rich girl want to get a job? I mean, <laughs> like, let's be a little honest. But if she wants that independence, like, I get it. Besides being a Mew Mew. Oh my god, buddy!
No, you weren't. Oh, pudding. Baby. I love how we finally get to say this. But she turned you down. Mm -hmm. You only know, like, the character version of her, basically. Of course, it's Kishu. Uh huh. Who else would it be? Huh. No!
not gonna I know you I feel you baby but seriously you have to have teammates it's the best thing in the world oh my god Yeah, that's not going to work. Mm. Oh, God. Oh my god.
like he had to use that voice. You had to use that voice. Like, mm, sir. Because it's worse. Because you, you, you know who the voice actor is. And you're like, bruh. Of course, we want to end this on a cliffhanger. They, like, it makes sense to end it on a cliffhanger because of the fact is, you know, it was going to take several episodes for Zagaro to join because we all knew that initially. So, finally, she is joining next week. That took six episodes. Six episodes for all five girls to get together. But it makes sense because of the fact is I do enjoy and love what they did for the Mint Focus episode because it was just in the feels how it was in the manga and the original series and such and how she feels like super upset and depressed about it because of the fact is like, okay, she's like, all right, I'm depressed. I'm going to do work and not just be myself. And so like putting... Freaking pudding over here. Like, yeah, she just likes to work. It's okay. No, baby, she clearly depressed. Because remember, this is Mint we're talking about. Mint don't like to work. She be having afternoon tea and ordering people around. So, you know, seeing her work, yeah, you think there's a problem. But I love that, you know, during this episode, like, Mint shows her, like, vulnerable side especially towards the second half of it even having Miki turn into a kid animal um and being very defensive like that and it makes me wonder if they're also going to animate the one episode where it's like part two of Zakuro and Minto having a fight and she goes to this is like we're getting into spoiler territory with this ish right here I don't remember what episode it is but I know it's clearly towards the end of the original series so I remember it was it's a big argument of course between Zakuro and Mint and eventually um Miki comes in again to basically like you know say hey or you know in dog language and stuff when you have a dog just to like stop the fighting between them two and so Zakuro tries to go to attack Miki and so Mick gets very hella defensive about that and stuff and it's one of like uh, one of the other pivotal moments about um uh, Mick and Zakuro's relationship if that I'd like I mean yes she is still obsessed with Zakuro and th that's why like you know one of the other reasons why I love Mick because of course you can relate to her at some points in times but you know, that argument, I, I just, I need that in this new show because it's just for their character development, specifically for both of them. It's, it's like, it's not the pivotal moment, but it's one of many good pivotal moments between those two. And then besides like the Zakuro focus episode that she got in the original series, which was basically fi uh, filler, but they could do that for this new series. But I I'm not sure because, you know, we are, by, I think, what, by next week, we'll be halfway through this series, and we don't even know if this show's going to get a season two. Once again, there's a lot of unanswered questions that we're not getting until we get to the end of this series. But of course, we all know by next week, Sakura is going to officially join, and we're finally going to have our group of five, and seeing them hang out together and do things together, work and other stuff, like, it's going to be so good. I'm so fucking excited. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to be towards episode 5 of Tokyo Mew Mew New. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Tuesday or maybe Wednesday for episode 6. Bye, guys.